Well, it doesn't really matter. If you want to use APCR, that's fine. If you want to use AP, that's fine. Use whatever you want. Just win. <laughs> Alright, 122.44 on Assault. You're defending on Assault. And top tier... Lots of RD, but already on sick rate line, particularly on Assault. They don't really get that many good angles. Uh, you can go either way. What I would say is is you either want to start in like this C9 area over here, or like this G9, uh, maybe more like this uh, J8 area if you go south. Um, it doesn't really matter. You usually don't want to play through the middle of the town in a non turreted tank destroyer um, if you can uh, avoid it. And then see what kind of intel your team actually gets. And then if you play this hill, what you want to do is you want to be in any of these bushes right here where you can spot to that ridge right there because that's where they're going to try to spot you from. You don't want to be back so far that, that all of these trees are blocking you. You want to be up a little bit more. Because right now you've got nothing to shoot at and nobody's going to spot for you. You've got a couple guys behind you, but they're they're a little bit too far back and who knows what their spotting is going to be like. So like if you're in this, uh, you don't need to move that far forward. If you were just in this bush right here, like you could spot for yourself. Looks like the Ram 2 is pushing in. I wouldn't worry about the Ram 2 yet. Get the T-67 first. You can probably aim that all the way in. You had plenty of time. And the Ram 2, since he's not really going anywhere, you should be able to get that, no problem. Okay, and you should be able to get shots in this, this area down there as well. When they poke up. And then see how they sort of congregate on this 5 line? What you want to do is, if you can clear out this area over here first, uh, then you can potentially get to an area where you're going to be behind them. Lulls. So see how your guys are pushing out here? So if this area is clear, you can come up to this bunker right here. So what you want to do is you want to stay low, go around and come up there, and you won't be detected. Crossing right through this area right here is where people get lit. So they're pushing in. Which is fine. They're still gonna have some stragglers behind, so like you could have shots in this KV two right now if you wanted. Well, this this is not a good good position for you to be in. Like this, you don't want to be where you're at. This is not a, a good position for you to chill, try to trade through. And, and artillery knows where you're at because artillery already shot at you, so you need to be careful. You want to be careful how you push this because there's a lot of tanks there. All right, and you can potentially get flanked as well. At least it's aggressive. Oh, yeah, the next little roll there. Just ram him. A little bit late. Don't back up too much because that's when Artie can hit you. Like, you're not worried about the jumbo hitting you, you're worried about Artie hitting you. Yeah, take your time and get your day. Yeah, take your time. Just relax. Okay, now you can uh, be a little bit patient. F just figure out where the Black Prince is first. Well, apparently, he's right in front of you. And then you don't want to be super close to this guy if you can avoid it. Because he can actually out DPM you. Ah, careful. Like, you don't need to push this. 
Like pushing pushing into multiple guns is never a, a good thing. You can potentially go around to this flank. See how these guys are coming in on the side? So watch and see how much of a distraction these guys actually make. Right, you've got you've got tanks in front of you, and so when this is when it's this crowded, it's going to be difficult for you to get shots there. So you don't need to try to squeeze by them. Like you right now, your gun is basically out of play. You're getting a, a little bit lucky there. Like, but like if you had gone where that Panther M10 had gone through, right, you'd still get a lot of shots onto the backs of these guys. Oh, well, you're going there now. Better late than never. But this is this. I think is the right play. You know, take your time. Take your time. Make your shots count. Just come up behind these guys. Take your time. Make your shots count. Don't push back, push forward, because you are you can get shot by Artie there. If you push forward, you won't. Nope, just dri drive all the way through. He's going to detect you. And take your time with your shots. You're, you're rushing a lot of these shots. That shot you can rush because he pulled down into it. Man, I'm not entirely sure how you lose this game. Well, I'm gonna guess that you get killed. And then, what you want to do is probably actually not chase the E25 because he's gonna have he has more health than you anyways, and he can basically one shot you. So you, what you want to be able to do is pair up with either this Jumbo or this Panther M10. The Panther M10 is pushing the T25/2, so that's potentially to your advantage. It's a trap! Nope. Look behind. Oh, be sad. Nice try. Um, so I, I thought you did okay. Um, I, I, if you moved a little bit more forward in that early game, you would have been able to spot more of those guys coming in. Uh, that would have given you an advantage. Um, and then once you cleaned that up, though, I, I thought you did a, a good job of that. And then you were driving over here to get to the flanks of these guys, which is the right play, but then you drove across this line right here, which is not good because that's when they spotted you. And then you kind of hung out there a little bit too long. You didn't take that much damage there, surprisingly, but um, you you played this game from the from the about this point forward on a little bit too aggressively you want to flank people you want to have your gun active but you were poking out into two or three or four guns at a time and that though that's not the type of trades that, that you want to create the what you want to create particularly if you know that they're starting to push east through this town like you want to set up back here where you can shoot them as they cross right one at a, at a time and then take your time when you make your when you take your shots um, you were taking a lot of snapshots and some of them hit um, you bounced a lot of shells which is mostly lucky with the with that with this particular tank because it's not uh, totally bouncy it's a little bit trolly um, and uh, tier 7 uh, but like for example on, on this jumbo that was on this corner shooting you um, you could just take your time and make sure that you kill that guy be a little bit more already safe when you're doing it because backing backing up away from the jumbo isn't making it any more difficult or easy for the jumbo to hit you but it's making it a lot easier for artillery to hit you so if you just stayed up where you were the jumbo has got the same shots at you whether you were forward or backwards right um so there was no reason for you to back up there um, and then just take your time and make sure you kill that jumbo and it's the same thing like you snapshot at this t29 that was over here um and uh uh, zero damage and things like that just a, a lot of those just take a, a little bit more time and, you, and you'll be better off and then 
the other thing, like I said, just make sure that you're not poking into two, three, four guns at a time, um, uh, if you can possibly help it. And then, like, when this, that T29 and the whatever it was, it was like a KV-1 or something was over here. You know, don't try to squeeze around tanks in a non-turreted tank destroyer. If there's two tanks camping on a corner, go the other way. Go the way that that Panther M10 went. If you went the same way as, as the Panther M10, you guys could have, that jumbo was coming around this outside. You guys could have all cleared up that area a, a lot faster and maybe lost a, a, a few less tanks. Um, but otherwise, I, I thought you played it pretty pretty well. Oops, wrong one. So if we look at the stats, yeah, that Panther M10 finally or did some damage, which is nice. You didn't get a whole lot out of the rest of your team. Their team didn't really do a whole lot either. They just had a, a rather top heavy. And that was just all of their heavies that pushed through that EF line. Uh, shot efficiency, nah, not that great for the ranges that you were at. You, you could have shot more efficiently than that. But a lot of that was just snapshots. And so you, you, when you have time, take the time to, to make sure that you get a good shot. It's, it's really important. Nice try though, GG. Alrighty, the next one is FCM on Fiery Salient. Yeah, we can review wins as well. I, I don't generally review blowouts in either direction. Um, so if it's a close enough game, we can look at wins. But I, I usually find it's uh, pretty instructive for most people to look at their close losses. All right, FCM, no artillery on fiery salient. Pretty much the same comps. Um, I would play a six line. Um, the... FCM can do pretty well in the six line. You can shoot the hill, you can snipe around on the other sides, do other things. You can also play hill. Normally uh, people play the hill rather poorly. I try to show it in the stream when we do play the zero line. Uh, but you need a strong six line. You need somebody who can actually shoot on the six line. And if you have a smart zero line player, you can really wreck the hill. Uh, we m might do another round of replays, we'll see. It's a trap! So we know their IS-3 is headed towards the hill, they've got a bunch of guys on the midline, which is pretty typical. It's a trap! Then you want to be careful about poking up here too much because you can get shot from that hill area pretty easily. You've got guys going to the island, which is always a bad sign. You've got guys camping in the back here, which is always a bad sign. It's a trap! And you want to be careful how high you come up on that hill because if they have like a G1H1 guy, they can actually shoot you. Not to mention. So you've got a guy moving across here, so you want to cover this guy, like shoot this LTTB. There we go. The LTTB is still more important than the IS-6, because the, the IS-6 isn't really going to spot your guys, but the LTTB can. Like the LTTBs, like when you play this south area, you don't want to camp back where this IS-6 is. You want to be up, well not 
really where that LTTB is. You want to be a little bit northeast of where that LTTB is, like right about there, because that gives you the most coverage, particularly from direct fire. And this is why it's important to have people on the sixth line because you want to be able to shoot these guys as they come across. Push forward, push forward, push forward. So, and so a large part of playing the sixth line is understanding how far you can go before uh, you start getting shot. And so what you don't want to do, you don't want to drive up on this hill here which increases your elevation. Um, you want to drive up in this area right here, right? And then basically which pokes your turret over. You could shoot side turret on an IS-3. They've already progressed pretty far up over there. So you, you can't really get too many good shots. Don't worry about the E-75. Shoot, shoot the guys in the front. You can still shoot the... the, the usually the guys in the back aren't, aren't as much of a concern on this. You want to shoot these guys on the front of the hill because that's going to present a greater threat to your guys over there. And then push forward to shoot. You still got a bunch of campers on this side. Yeah, so you, you still need to, so what I would do is drive up towards this, around this area, like where this bush is right there, that'll give you better shots on these guys than you, because you keep exposing yourself a little bit too much, like you're not being spotted because there's nobody over there. And you keep dropping down, don't drop down, be ready to shoot as soon as you're loaded. So if you're right here, those guys won't have shots on you even if you get lit. You need to be shooting the hill right now. Cuz they're they're going to they're going to push. You need to weaken them so that they're too afraid to push. And you keep pushing up on this high ground, which is allowing you to get, get spotted from the east and it's allowing you well, the possibility of, of actually getting shot. You need to concentrate on the hill. Like that needs to be your priority. Cuz if you can get those guys down to like halfish health, then they're not going to push. I mean, they're they're afraid of pushing, and they've got more than half health. Stop dropping back, and just just get your damage out. There you go. They put a guy in the donut. You've got more than enough guys over here. You can't shoot any of those guys on the east. It's a trap! Oh my god, KV2. Well, like, so for these guys, you just light them and you let your guys over here shoot them potentially, but I don't think they're, they're paying attention. The IS-6 is up on the hill. Like, the hill really needs to be your priority. Like, the, the purpose of playing the 6 line is to shoot the hill. Like, anything else is, is relatively um, less important. Like, if they charge over and onto you on the sixth line, wh whatever. That's that's not that's not how you win the game. The w the way that you, you your team wins and loses this game is if you can win one side of the map, like the hill. If you can win this side, that's fine. But usually teams don't win this side. It's a trap. So you're starting to get in a progressively bad position because as they push up here, they're going to start getting um, where, to a position where they can get shots on you where you're at. And then, as usual, the campers weren't really able to defend over there. That's fine. So you want to bail. Like Once they start getting guys down here, you want to bail and leave them back here. You, you still can shoot the hill, um, but I would shoot the hill basically from where this WZ-131 is. It's a trap! You could also potentially counter push this Pershing over there. Oh good, the T-54 went down. Yeah, you should be able to get this, so kill the T-71. 
Ramming. Good job. Good job. Then push the Pershing. No, don't try to don't try to snipe him. Don't try to out snipe him. He's got much better. And then you don't want to go too far to the east. You don't want to go to a position where these guys can shoot you, right? Don't make them relevant. Go over the hill on this side, right? And then push over and just attack the into the Pershing. You don't you, like now at this point, right? Your guys are dead or gone from over there. So those guys on the hill are completely irrelevant. Kill the Pershing, win the game. Just push the Pershing. You've got more health than him. You can just bully him. Just push into the Pershing and bully him. These guys can't help him. Just don't be anywhere where they can shoot you. It's a trap! Take your time and get the shot. That's fine. I still think it would have been more efficient for you to just drive over here and then drive onto the Pershing, but that's fine. And then just put two on cap and screen. Or even three on cap and screen. So you are going to need to screen though. You don't have optics, which means you'll probably need to come down over here. You just don't have the range to see them. I mean, they probably don't have very good camo, but... Because they're all they're gonna do is just push over this south bridge there. So at this point, what you should do is just go over onto the seven line area. You need to be a little bit more aggressive than what you're doing. You're... No, 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 you don't want to push. Like All of your guns are on one side. You don't want to push on the same area where all of your guns are. You want to push where they aren't. Because that IS-6 still has a lot of health. Half. Could have aimed that a little bit more, but okay. And then that's fine. So then now go back and let's see if we can figure out where this IS-6 is. This IS-6 still has a lot of health. Too. And then you want to push onto this seven line, right? You want to push it, even if it's into these buildings. You need to get someplace where you can spot this IS 6. So you did this exact same thing with the IS 3 and you didn't spot the IS 3. So yeah, don't, don't do that again. He is going to push across here. He will push across this area right here. He will push across this J line. It's 100% guaranteed. You need to be in a position where you can spot him as he crosses right there. So go into this bush right there, go next to that house, go over there. You need to spot him over there because he's going to head towards your JP2. Hey, look where he, look where he appeared.
Oma, one shot. Shoot underneath the train. Shoot underneath the train. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> okay, and then all you need to do is get close to this tiger one. And then I would load, you know, you brought 24 APCR shells, I would load one here because a balance at a catastrophic time would be bad. But this, this is why you bring APCR shells to a match so that you can ensure victories. Don't, don't drive out too far. He's probably back where that IS-3 was. It's a trap! APCRM! APCRM! Oh, what's your tiger doing? You might as well take the shot, that was the best shot you're gonna get. So you had a window where you could have driven at him, but... Yeah. Oh, why is your Tiger 1 backing off? Be sad. Um, yeah, so anyways, I, I thought you did an okay job over here. You kept driving up onto the highest possible ground, like you were climbing on top of a mountain and saying, you know, you wanted as many people to have shots on you as possible. Um, you want to avoid climbing up onto that hill there. Um, all you got to do is just drive straight up the six line, right? Stay low on that ground, just shoot just barely over the railroad tracks into those guys, and you'll get, you'll get good shots. And you kept dropping back down, pushing up, dropping back down, pushing up, dropping back down when you didn't really need to. Just focus fire, make sure that you do damage to these tanks up here. It's really, really important. They send a lot of tanks up here, and they basically just milled around. They wanted, they were asking you to shoot them. They're just like, you know what? We're gonna sit here for a long time in side profile and allow you to get plenty of shots at us and you need to take advantage of that you need to just sit there until somebody roots you out you need to just sit there just dealing out the pain onto these guys that are trying to to, to mess around on, on the zero line um, and then late game my only qualm is that you really could have just bullied that Pershing. There was no reason for you to, to dance around, sit back, and then come up on the only line where these guys on the hill could, could shoot you to kill that Pershing. All you have to do is just drive over here, drive over here, drive over there on and kill the Pershing. Just literally just bully. And, and that's the, the thing. It's like if you've got 1400 health or whatever it was and he's got 500 health, 600 health, just go and bully him. I mean, that's these guys couldn't do anything about that. Um, and then you know, you know that they they need to drive that IS three or the IS six need to drive across over over here in order to to reset the cap. Um, you need to get a little bit closer. When you know that you don't have optics, um, which is one of the reasons why I think optics are really important in, in these in pub matches, is you need to be able to spot them as they drive across here. And it's the same thing later with the IS six. Like you drove up over here. If you just drove up to these buildings right here, you could have spotted that IS six before. Before he even got across and gotten shots on him and prevented him from really just easily driving over that ramp getting shots on your guys.
And so these are the stats. And you didn't get a whole lot out of your team. Your WZ120 on the hill did pretty well for himself. I mean, you did pretty well. You did a, a good amount of damage. I felt like some of those shots on the hills could have been a little bit better, just a little bit more sustained DPM. But I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm being critical of of mistakes that you make, but you you played a good game. Um, it's just you know a lot of times the differences in these games, like you could have very easily won this team for your game without even shooting tanks. All you had to do was spot that IS three coming in. All you had to do is spot that IS six coming in, right? And that could have made a huge difference for your team because they could have had shots ready for those guys as they tried to to crest over that hill, right? And and that in and of itself makes a difference in the game. Um, and so a lot of it is not just getting your own shots, but just getting some, get, you know, knowing where the enemy is and, and making it so that your team has, has easy shots. Uh, but you did pretty well for yourself, so can't complain about that. GG, nice try. I still feel like you should have won.